Hey there, Peyton Nation. Freelance writers, are you having a difficult time selling your articles for a high rate? I'm talking $1,000 more per article. This, that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so I've already stated the problem. I work with students and people that are trying to sell their articles for $1,000 or more. It's not uncommon, it happens all the time. However, I think, as I discussed before, the market kind of thinks, oh, well, we can get this low-priced content anywhere. So here's how you justify charging a lot of money. One, you gotta have the chops. So l let's just say that you're a good writer, maybe not an outstanding writer, maybe not even a seasoned professional. That's totally fine, because the kind of articles I write, they're not gonna win any major awards, but they do give pe get people traffic. So the way I do it, the way I teach it, is that when I pitch my prospective clients, I'm not just saying I'm gonna write a 2,000 word article and it will get traffic, and you should do this because the Google gods and everybody says that content marketing is it and everybody should do it. So that's kind of, you know, maybe I'll pull some statistic, like that's not what I'm trying to do. And a lot of people do that. They use statistics, they use these other references of what other marketers are saying. That's very common knowledge. People in the market are still trying to get that for very cheap, okay? Uh, the way I justify my higher prices is that I'm offering them a complete package solution. That's what freelance marketers are missing. They're just looking at writing the article and it's worth this much money and, and that's the end of the transaction. What I'm doing is a little bit different. I'm offering not only the, the article, a well-written, customized, uh, specific article, but also I'm, I'm showing them how the metrics in the ROI stack up. Okay, so the metrics could be, I can predict, not accurately, like dead on accurately, but I can have a, a, an idea of the kind of traffic an article would get, how many clicks an article would get, uh, how many people opt into, into the lead magnet, and because of that lead magnet, how many emails that you'll collect that later on you can add a, a nurture sequence to, to recapture some of those uh, people that didn't convert into to clients, paying clients. So um, I talk about sales funnels a lot. I talk about you know what their overall objective is and really put in some of my marketing intelligence. Now my students kind of learn that from me. They know my script and I tell them what to say. But the point is, is that I'm not just offering something that a content mail will get them. Because someone told them, some marketing guru said, hey, SaaS business or online business, you should write a lot of content so you'll rank in Google. And that's the message, and they still want that for cheap. The thing is, is that that cheap content, you know, you get what you pay for. That cheap content, it, it won't really do much. What I'm offering is different. I'm gonna say, hey, here's the, the article for a highly targeted audience, and here are some very specific metrics ROI that you're really into, okay, that you, you pay attention to, such as traffic and clicks and all that. I talked about the funnel and all that, and they begin to see that what I'm offering isn't just a bunch of words, it's going to be a solution for their ultimate end result, which is to get a paying client. Okay, so that's what we have to do when we sell. We have to kind of re-educate the consumer who's buying content. Uh, and show that we do a premium article, we, we require a premium price because they'll get premium results. I'll be the first one to say that I'm not the best salesperson, okay? But I've got a portfolio, I've got testimonies, I've got real results with articles that are similar to the one I'm about to write for this prospective, clients, a prospective client. And so they should believe what they see and some of these results. And with that, it's really the solution I'm selling them on after asking some very important questions because I'm not just like you know, talking the whole time, of course, but I'm really trying to customize the solution, but going right back to the ROI and the metrics because that's what business owners care about. And at the end of the day, if, someone's, if, you, if someone says, hey, would you trade $1,000 for $5,000? They say yes every single time. That's kind of what marketing is. That's kind of what a good content piece will do. You'll pay $1,000 for it and maybe at five, 10, $20,000 on the other end. That's what I'm selling. And you know, I've, I've built a portfolio to kind of prove those results. 
So that's the biggest problem I see with people trying to pitch their articles at this higher rate is these freelance writers are just not offering a complete package. Now later on, we'll get into COCA, cost of customer acquisition, or CLTV, customer lifetime value. Those are other metrics that come into the equation when I'm talking to a client. Uh, but that's like on, on the deeper end. And some of you already know this, I understand that. But I just wanted to kind of scratch the surface on a big mistake people are making and it's keeping them from getting that higher rate for their well-crafted articles. I hope you liked this and I hope it helped. If it, if it did, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I deeply appreciate it and thank you so much. Good luck writing.